today, my friends, we do not stop until we have the 10,200 gold to upgrade Venice into the metropolis. Bollocks. <laughs> well, never mind. I guess there we are. King Steve Job, dead as dicks. Goodbye, my friend. Uh, I found peace in Christ's embrace at the age of 58. That's the last time I ever lead troops. Uh, I did stress him out with blackmail hooks to try and rinse out a bit more gold from people. So it's up to 5,662. Uh... My god. It was the drinking. It was the drinking that did it. Because he was a drunkard. That was given the, the massive negative health boost. Balls. Well, in the future, don't become a drunkard. That's good life advice right there. Hello, Jeevan's second stobs of Venice. The unmarried man. What the hell are you doing? Okay. Um... Well, here we are. We are still at war as well. Um, according to these shits. Right, let's drop our troops down for a start. Right, wife for you then, brother. Let's take a look. What have we got? Traits and inheritable. I want genius. Because genius, while we're sitting around and doing nothing on our big fat Venetian ass, is going to be extremely helpful. Um, maybe we should just go for intelligence first and try and breed it over a long period of time. Hang on, let's try genius. Let's actually type it in rather than looking with our eyes. Um, 41. That's practically ancient. Right, we'll go for intelligent then. Uh, hello, madame. Halfred. Uh, oh, God. Miriam, she's only 19. She, oh, but she's freaking chaste as well. No, we can't do that. Um, what are you, ambitious zealot? We need a lustful lady. Lustful. Rand Radigund. Oh, what a hideous name. All of our choices are so bad. Um, I think I'm going to vote replacement Steve. A man so bad he lost Venice twice. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go for him. Um, I've never really gone into the learning focus before. Well, I've never had a learning, uh, well, any learning education, especially not a level 4 one. Let's go medicine. Well, I'm sure we have, but not of note. Um, we'll go medicine, and we'll see if we can get hold of body so that this guy lasts a little bit longer than daddy, who uh, just loved his drink. Uh, well, I mean, I did immediately start with a feast, but you know, it's kind of the dumb thing, really, isn't it? To celebrate celebrate a new vassal and all that. Celebrate, sorry, a new, a new liege. Um, Countess Martina, the foolish of Aprila. What an incredible rhyme. Welcome. That's a that's a woman we can trust to be Marshal with a name like that. Do I want gold or do I want prestige? You don't need prestige when you've got all the gold. Although I will take it just to get us out of negative right now. God, what a horrible, horrible thing I just did there, huh? Right, to work then, people. Uh, council, you know what you've got to do. Uh, he's in Kaiserbertholz Court to find me all the secrets. We, oh God. We'll have to pitch in. Come on now. Yep, not spending a penny. <laughs> <laughs> um, we need to put him to work probably in Byzantium. See if we can dig up some more. Oh, here we go. It's it's already started. Why did I not go golden hooks? Uh, or golden obligations? Especially when we've got 28 intrigue on, on this guy here. Fucking hell. And then you are trying to increase development as much as possible. So development right now. 32. Hey, that's not bad. That's not terrible. How are they doing in Constantinople in terms of development? Um, we can't see because it's currently on fire. There we are. 56. Not for long. That's my goal. We're going to be the most developed round that's ever existed. Call a hunt. Oh, God. Okay. That's basically what killed our father, so let's be a little bit careful with this. Oh, good kill. What do we get for it? Money, perhaps? Hello. Oh, Ernst just love a secret. Excellent. 150 prestige. Really freaking prestige. Oh, a glory. We're already up to distinguished, huh? Not that that's really anything impressive, I guess. We're a king. We should be way higher than that. Okay. On the plus side, we're playing kind of an older guy. So when Babby is formed, it basically means that we're going to be able to, to, to have a much younger heir rather than going from, you know, the 58-year-old um, piss head down to the 34-year-old guy. Hopefully we can, when this guy's kid, I mean, hell, even now when it's come of age, this guy's going to be almost friggin', what, 60? Um, so that gives us plenty of opportunity uh, if he ever ends up having a kid, given the whole bloody chaste thing. Should have really maybe gone, oh, I don't know. This is quite hard to see. I want to get golden obligations. I also want to get weeds in a garden early on as well. But then I also want to get everything. I want everything. Just give me everything. I'm very slowly gaining ticking stewardship experience. Because, of course, we are we have that incredible mod that gives you experience based on the parameters you set up. So, in our case, because we have over 10 stewardship, we are getting a small amount of experience every month. It Maybe it will add up to one or two points over the course of our entire lifetime. Ooh, I need to befriend the Pope because that man is willing to give me dollars. Forgot about you. We'll use this wealth wisely, he says, as we sit on a stack of 6k. I am going to gild every capstone in Venice. Fucking 12,000 gold, brother. It's 12,000 gold without the bonus, so we definitely, definitely need to go for administrator if we plan on doing this. Oh no, the Welsh du jour war for Monmouth. Tragic. A jihad for Al Moravid is launched immediately. Oh, Castile. Uh, you guys want me to do something about that, huh? Do we get money for helping out? Because if not, 
but can't help you, mate. Sorry. Too busy. There we go. They've actually done it. Excellent work. Okay. So, Babby is formed. Uh, Catharism could not give less of a shit. Show me the... How long we got here? 11.58. So, 11.58 comes around. Hopefully, by that time, we'll have picked up enough blackmail and whatnot to be able to basically catch everybody out uh, in, in the HRE. I'm hoping we can even get some in the bag from Byzantium as well. Just, just go for every realm. Um... Just stack them up. Then the second we get golden obligations, we can basically, on a five-year timer, cash in on like 2,000 gold. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, my warriors are ready to fight. No, they're not. Get them up from Mania. What? Pope, that's your doorstep, brother. What have you done wrong? Oh, Byzantium? Uh, is that who we're at war with? I mean, it's got to be, right? Oh, Tuscany flipped over to Mawaladism. Ah. I'll help you out. That's right on my doorstep. And in fact, I would really like to wipe Tuscany out. Hello, you've just given me some land for free. Ooh, okay. Similar size it. But can we can we can we war anything else? Can we can we war uh just Calabria? I I, I want it. Do I want it? Mmm, that's a hard one. If we take that and then go to war with Croatia, gives us a stepping stones to Sicily. Or we could grab that one which is on a coast anyway in Ferrara. I think I want that. Yeah, give me that. Okay, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Uh, Holy War 4. Give her Holy War for a Duchy. Can't be bothered. Um, let's do that one. You're a pledge to Great Holy War. When it starts to end inconclusively, do you want to start this war anyway? You want to start this war? Yeah, because we should be able to get this done before this thing starts, right? 11 months? Christ, they were ready, weren't they? Bloody hell. <laughs> Keep a quiet following me around just in case you declare war. Right, here we go, team. Get in there. As fast as you can. It's basically our next door neighbor. We should have this done in no time. Oh, daughter. Please be intellectual. Come on. Oh, he's actually done it. Okay, I need more billionaires. Macklin Jars. Welcome, my daughter. Macklin Jars money. Come on, where's my allies? I don't even know where our brother is coming in from, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, that's fine. Um, what, who was it that we were allied with then? Prince Gabe, oh, Prince Gabriel, our cousin and brother-in-law, there he is. Um, 214 dudes. I thought they had 5,000 men. Have I been bamboozled here? Hang on. Sorry, Tuscany, I, th I think one of us has been lied to in this war. Allies military strength. That's not similar. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, um, yeah, we've been lied to, but that's okay. We can, we'll be fine. You know what I said? Haha, <laughs> we'll have this done in 11 months, no problem. Starting to think that might not be the case. Uh, how long until the crusade starts? 53 days. Well, technically we were done with that one. Um, just, just dash over fast as you like. Thought that might happen. Bollocks. Well, that's 50 piety. I'm never getting back. I can't believe you've done this. I suppose, reluctantly, we'll send our guy in and at least get the crusader trait. And then I'm turning around and coming home because troops cost money. My God, look at that. I love that they just all have Crusader shirts just ready to go. Still not quite as good as the pre-shirt, which, by the way, Paradox, you ignore my messages on that one, so I'm quite annoyed. Uh, I didn't want to out you to the community like this, but I am. Wait, who are we at war with? Whoa, Castillo expanded bloody loads. Okay. Um, Crusade for... Okay, so then we got the Jihad going as well. Sorry, I should focus on the right war, shouldn't I? Go on. Why did I disband my troops? We were right there. We were in the capital. Getting the trade crusader. Yes, we do. And we're still in the capital. I would love it if we ended up putting another one of our dynasty members on another throne. That would just be incredible. So I've got to turn that down in my fucking headphones because these boys are not... I mean, our orchestra are just not letting up. <laughs> Following my guy onto the battlefield. Still blasting away. Again, our allies are doing incredible work. Uh, by which I mean they've done absolutely fuck all right now for the crusade. So it's all down to your boy, Jeevan Stobbs. How are we doing? Uh, let's take a look here. What's the military strength? I'm second. How am I second? What? Oh, I suppose they've been fighting down in everywhere else. That's okay. We'll still win this. I'm going to get my sister. Ev everyone in our dynasty gets some sort of... Oh, bollocks. Some wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Which is the capital? Oh, it's teaching the wrong thing. Yeah, I thought it was. Um, you know, at one point, we'll, we'll, we'll get everybody in our dynasty a, a kingdom level title. Just just a few more crusades. At this rate, we'll have it in a, in a few weeks with the way the freaking Pope's going. Um, yes, thank you. Fertility, massive boost. I've decided though, as cool as our sister Margarita money is, I think I would still prefer the giant amounts of gold. These Crusades are genuinely just going to solely siphon all the gold over into Venice, and I am more than happy about that. Really just genuinely quite pleased. 
Um, who can we who can we do some damage to here? Get out. 96%. Come on. Uh, and who's taking this? Was that me? Someone else seems to be in control of this. Uh, excuse me. I want to see the, the barony level title. Uh, occupied by ban. No, 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 no. Ban, 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 ban. Don't ruin my good chances of, of winning here. We're at 96%. I want this one. I think we're still first, though, to be fair. Um, yep. God, why? Why is my friggin' tiny little island nation of, of, of one province, basically? Because, I mean, that's not really doing much for us, is it? Why are we winning every crusade? Is the game just bugged right now in its current version or something? What are you guys doing? They just didn't pledge. What about you? Didn't pledge either. Oh, it's no wonder. I'm like the Pope's personal fucking bodyguard and he's paying me to do it. Are we mercenaries? <laughs> ah, I think we're mercenaries, you know. Hey, there we go. My cousin, Queen Margarita. Oh, you don't say. There you go. Crusader Romania. Wow, that's a new one. Cool. Uh, so be it. What did we get? Oh, we got 540 gold. That's really nice. Thank you, Pope. Much appreciated. We got 20% of the war chest. Bloody hell, we got a load there, didn't we? Shit. 1,460 prestige. And she still got the throne. Oh my god, is that all she got? <laughs> Ah, she just got a duchy. Well, you can't call that Crusader Romania. She's got two friggin' titles. Well, there we go. Um, I'm hoping eventually we can re-inherit it. Um, we'll see how it goes. If we, if she were to die, who's her, who's her successor? My uncle. Sister. Is it within our guy's character? Uh, the chaste, ambitious, trusting man. Uh, I mean, it's ambitious. We could, we could, we could borrow that. I mean, it's in the dynasty either way. Look at it like that. Unless she marries non matrimony, which I doubt she will because she's a queen after all. Oh, Pope. Really love some dollars here. Um, Prince Eusebius, whoever the hell he is. How are we doing with the hooks? Ah, oh, it's not bad, is it? It's really not a bad start. Okay. Um, let's move our spy master then over to Byzantium just to see what we can dig up from there. Uh, I think we need to go Golden Obligations. Can we swap over now? Yeah, we can. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right, let's go for Golden Obligations very briefly. Shouldn't take us too long to get there. Hey, another 230 gold. We're getting there. 7,000 gold in the, in the cash now. It's only 3,000, assuming we finally get... I, I think what we'll do is we'll stick on Stewardship. After we finish off Golden Obligations, we'll start heading down towards Architect. By the time this guy gets old, with the health bonuses we've kind of picked up here, we might just be able to do it. I don't think gold is going to be the limiting factor. I think it's whether or not we can get the architect trait. No. That bitch. She just declared war on us for Venice. She just... How the turns tables. We were the Crusader King that declared war for Venice. And now she's swung right back at us. Oh, you are so screwed. Oh, you are so screwed. I am not fucking standing for this for one second, brother. How, how much gold she got? Uh, 500. 500, is that all? Uh, help me. Um, who should we get? I want to get some decent quality ones. Bloody hell. Is there no sort by quality button? Or is this the only... The Hoplites of Napoli. 1,000 gold? Fucking 1,000? Okay, I don't want that many. Band of the Fields. They're in, yeah, you're a sensible guy. I like you. Um, we'll take the Austrians as well. Okay, when's an Austrian? Never done anything wrong. Right, get these troops merged. And well, let's head over. See what, see what damage we can lay down here. Right. Let's just stand around here for a while. We should reinforce, right? We should reinforce, he, he thinks. Uh, how many troops did I hire again? Evidently not enough. We, get it. we can get one more band, I guess. I don't want to go below 6k, ideally. Um, can we need the, can we need the hat? Oh, they're all the same. They're all the same. Hey, bring, bring me those. Bring me those. Hey, join us. If we can kill off their army pretty early on, then they've really got not a leg to stand on, because I'm going to chop them off. And then I'm going to take my sister, I'm going to chop off her fucking legs as well. That's what I thought. Sister. Right. You're so doomed. Ooh. Sway the Pope. We might... Uh, well, look, downside is what? Against 30 opinion of us permanently, really. Um, or 50 opinion. Oh. Well, I mean, we're at 100 opinion anyways. What the fuck would I risk it? A son. His name is also Steve Job Money. He's Egg Boy. No. Get out of here. I'm not interested in playing you, Egg Boy. I'm going to waste a name on useless children like that. They've got to be perfect. Otherwise, I'm not interested. Are you really going to take that? Oh, and then they're going to complain. Oh, there's not enough control in the county. Fine, I'll break siege. Rubbish. And then we'll go back in a second. But, you know, first things first. Let's, let's just make sure. All right, you're not going to siege anything with seven troops. Oh, she was leading troops? <laughs> Your forces captured my cousin, Queen Mar Margarita. Uh, excellent. 
Done. Thank you. How much are you going to give me? 206. Yeah, we lost a bit of gold doing that, but it means that she can never do it again. So I think it was a, I think it was a fair trade-off. Um, host a feast? Those cost money. Let's just have a hunt instead. Well, I mean, those cost money, but... You know, I, I think we should maybe just unpin both of them. So let's talk about our golden obligations then, because I'm sure we have a million sea hooks we can use. Oh, look at this. Actually, a lot of them are rulers as well. We're going to make so many enemies. Blackmail for a hook. We're not losing stress for this, are we? Because we're trusting? What? Oh, fuck you. I'm going to do it anyway. There's, this is what... This is this is the life of, of, of a Venetian prince. You have to sacrifice everything for money. Your health, your, your, your mental state, your honor, your dignity. You can stop me, Paradox. Oh, he is going to... He is just going to go through the roof now. Um, be strong. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, help me. Lose a level of fame and 350 prestige. Um, no, you loathsome witch. I'm not all right. Are you all right, my liege? Um, please help me. Yeah, let's do that. That's fine. And I can solely work this off. This isn't a problem. Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Now, look at the good dollars we're about to make, though. Not a single one. Are you fucking kidding me? If it's on, it comes at cost. Shut up. Not a... You're... No. Did I not get golden obligations? Oh, we haven't got golden obligations yet. <laughs> I genuinely thought I just basically killed this man for nothing to show for it. You're no longer overwhelmed by stress. Gotta disagree. Really, just gotta slightly disagree there. My friggin' sister died and stressed me out again. Selfish. Oh, for frig's sake. Um, uh, gold. Give me some gold. I've done a great job, haven't I? She deserves the effort. Uh, it's the Pope. I've done a great job. Why is the Pope at my feast? Uh, she becomes my friend or an intimate relationship. No, friends, friends are fine. Till next time. Eager Reveler. That's a great start. Eager Reveler, fantastic. Or, or then all we do is we just feast ourselves into drunkenness again and then we die like a father did. Fantastic. Go on a pilgrimage. They cost money. They do. Ah, uh, it's fine. Well, look, the money that we got from those are going to be no problem. Like, that's good. We're talking about thousands of gold right there. Oh, despite everything, though, a dynastic legacy. Hello. Um, I want, obviously, we've got to go for noble veins at this point because of the, the, the kind of active and inactive system that I now think I understand. Uh, I quite like the idea of... Oh, is this our daughter? Balls, I should have been educating her. Um... I quite like the idea of guaranteeing traits to be inherited, especially when the bloody tooltip says you can guarantee inheritance. Right. Oh, that's spicy. 85 gold, 85 gold. Look at this. Every five years, we are getting a mountain of cash. It's not as much as I expected, but it's still pretty good. 6,369. This is how it starts. This is how it starts. Uh, we can blackmail this man. Uh, I mean, we've already blackmailed him. Oh my God, we can get the Pope. Hey, wait, pa Patriarch. Oh, this is the Ecumenical Patriarch. Infected wound. Don't die on me. No, 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 no. He's only just got here. No. Call physician. Obaldo. Uh, yes, he's a trustworthy battle. Come on, come on, come on. Too late for caution. Do it. Oh, he chopped out our eye, but we're, we're alive. We're alive. Oh, thank God. Did we? Did he? We look like we've got an eye. Hang on. Yeah, we've definitely still got two... Uh, said gain the trait one-eyed, but we definitely didn't. Oh, well. Hey, we got away with it. Maybe it was just a chance of getting one-eyed. Oh, oh, ecumenical patriarch in our pocket, boys. That was probably worth the... Uh, just hideous amounts of stress, wasn't it? Let's notify that when it's available. Feasts. Uh, let's not bother with hunting, as we've already started down the Eagle Reveler. Oh, no. Prince Steve Job... My brother, Chancellor and Vassal, the gluttonous, vengeful, ambitious man with the 14 intrigue, sent me a magic box that made me not feel very well. No. We were just... I think we've just been assassinated by our brother. I think he just poisoned my wine. Liv. Come on, we've got so many hooks. You can't die now, please. He's not, he's not going to die. He's still alive. He's still alive. Come on. Stay there. You, you went over his stress limit and really set stress level three. Fuck. Go mad. Yes. Go crazy. Don't mind if I do. That's fine. Crazy people never get stressed out. <laughs> um, how are we looking on that? Health minor penalty. But he's fine though. He's just he's just poor. Poor poor brain now. Rather than... Uh, well, let's not say poor. Let's say of ill health. No, no one in Venice is poor. Um, 
This is bad. This is genuinely not okay. <laughs> oh no. He died. You can't give me two characters in the same episode. How old's this friggin' mummy? Look at this guy. Fucking hell. August, journaler, eager reveler, gout ridden. Oh, great. We're playing as a gout ridden Luddite. Look at him. My god. I think he remembers time itself starting. <sighs> okay. His daughter's the queen of. Can we elect her to take on Venice and unify the realm? What a roundabout route that would be. Stewardship. You're in charge of Venice. What friggin' choice do we have? We're keeping the gold, though. It's costing me the entire dynasty. Commission an epic. Ooh. All right. Cornelia, the accomplished storyteller. We can elect our nephew. I mean, obviously, that would give us a game over. I want to elect Queen... Uh, what, whatever her bloody name is. Queen, Queen, Queen. She's not an option. Uh, TK Growling. Uh, Phyllis. <laughs> Just a casual Phyllis. We, we could... Go for Egg Boy, um, Steve Job. Am I going to elect him? He's got the, he's he's got the business strategy down, hasn't he? He's got the business strategy. I mean, th this is a it's a hell of a man right here. Although he's a bit garbage, I will admit, but that's fine. What's it? What's it? What is his kid like? His grand. Okay, so she's she's got. Uh, okay, so that one's quick, and she is pretty. So they've got something going for them. Oh, replacement Steve, brother. What is going on here? My son is beautiful. Why can't, I wish I could let you. That's a shame. She got married non-matrilineally because she's a bloody moron. Oh. And then my other daughter is a dishonorable atheist, but she has a, a hell of a stab. So we've commissioned a family epic. Uh, Dynasty. Uh, Contarini. Well, of course, we're a branch house of that. Uh, gains 75 renown. That's okay. And then we get two piety or, or prestige story a month there. Thank you. Much appreciated. How much did that cost me again? We can keep her around as our, at our court. Um, that's so scary. Uh, she's okay. I guess there's no reason not to bring her to court. This guy's compassionate. Sorry, can I get a frigging character who doesn't mind? Who's got, who's got the, who's got the, the chops to make this frigging round work? Because they're all useless. Compassionate. Oh, I'm compassionate. Oh, I'm kind. Oh, I'm trusting. Oh, I couldn't possibly blackmail them for thousands of gold and make the round rich and prosperous. You morons. This guy's going in the river. <laughs> I get the strange feeling it's going to be Steve Job taking over. What? Well, he's our he's our nephew. So he was... Oh, he was our... The character before last... Right, so he was the brother of our last character. Got assassinated. So we're going back to the main branch then. Um, main branch being the side branch of the other main branch, which is obviously a branch of the Concieri dynasty or whatever the hell they were called. Um, so really, there's no main branch anymore. It's just one big circle. Gain a level of dedication to my faith. Well, hopefully the Pope will now give me some gold. There we go. He actually did. Oh, you madman. Oh, is it time again? Sorry, I forgot that it's time for our yearly trip to Jerusalem. Um, oh, is it Christmas already? Great. Uh, well, you know what we've got to do. Obviously, we just appoint anyone as our beneficiary. Uh, and then I say I prefer prefer the dollar, please, Pope. Yes. Yes, Deus Vault and all that. Right, off we go. Onwards, people. Um, should we make our guy the leader again so we can cut, try and get... We can make our successor, Steve Job, the Crusader. That's not a bad plan. Let's head over then. Um, and we could probably hit their capital up fairly early. Especially if we get... The AI, you know what the AI is like in this game. Not very good uh, any sort of coordinated warfare. So I'm kind of hoping they'll flail around on the beaches for a while. Along with all of those ghost horses. Or not. I don't really want to be on the vanguard. All right, send him in. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I think we're gonna get our ass handed to us. Did he at least get the? Did he get the? Did he get the Crusader trait? Uh, no balls. Sorry, this guy was also a, a big, a big stinky and complained about. It's only 14 stress with this guy though, so we're just gonna, just gonna double down on it. That guy's a king as well, so we've actually got something quite nice there. So we're getting a, a level of stress, but we can go journaler, um, and that will basically work it off in no time. I think we can have another feast as well. Um, so we've got seven payments to be demanded. This is fantastic. Give us a... Yeah, write our thoughts down. Done. Stress gone? Almost. Damn it. Okay, well, we're going to go on a feast then. You only lose 30 stress because you're compassionate. Oh, what a tragedy. Got 70 there. 70 there. Okay. 45. 36. King of France gives us 17. Rubbish. Okay, 7,291 gold. We only need another 2,800 gold. With, obviously, uh, we need to start training stewardship-based characters. Otherwise, we're going to flip over to you. You're 45. You know what? I'm not electing you, Sodja. I'm going to elect someone who's good at stewardship. Um, he's too old. I can't. 
We can't keep playing as these old people. Otherwise, it's going to take us generations to get the... Uh, to, to get Venice going. Allard von Wipra? No. No. It needs to be a money man. Uh, Paolo money? Preferably like a genius or something. That'd be great. Luciano money? He's, he's in prison. Um... God, we've got real slim pickings on this, haven't we? Christ almighty. Um, go for her. Oh, no, she's a... She's... Wait. Oh, no, no, she's our family member. She's intelligent. I'm going to vote for her, and then I'm going to turn her into a mighty steward. Struggles with stewardship. It doesn't matter. Even the worst level of stewardship education gives stewardship experience. We'll turn her into... We'll turn her into someone smart. It's okay. Submit. I have been putting Steve Job in charge of the armies uh specifically in the hope that he doesn't come back because we know he's a murderer we know he's a murdering little shit who's a kin slayer the biggest sin of all is killing your family members so i'm trying to stick him on a boat so that he'll die um that's not my fault if he dies then sure that's his fault for not fighting harder um but it will get quite a dangerous character is he gone <gasps> steve job was taken prisoner that'll do it that might just about kill him off. And unsurprisingly, she did come out indulgent wastrel, but it's 10% stewardship experience. That coupled with intelligent gives her 20% as well. So if anybody's going to pull this off, I think it's her. She's garbage. She's terrible. But she does have intelligence. She, she, it, it's, it's about future-proofing right now more than anything else. How old's our guy? 62. Is he hanging on? He's gout-ridden. To be fair, for, to call a man gout-ridden... I'm genuinely surprised he's lived to 62 at that point. Got her married off to the mighty Wittred, the hale, intelligent man. Um, that means guaranteed, in so because we've got the bloodline now, um, that's guaranteed intelligent with a chance of becoming genius too, so that's quite nice. And then we've also got hale, so there's a small chance of also inheriting a small health boost there as well, and then we can obviously work on that chain in the future. Man, this is going to take a while. 8,107. How are we looking on the Metropolis front then? We've got bad construction right now. Yeah, that's it. Um, from this one here. 1175 before that wears off. So we're not going to quite be able to pull it off with this guy. Um, we're going to get quite close though, especially as we start going down towards Architect. But he was just... He was never going to... He was never going to do it. We've got too many... Oh, well. Third character of this episode. Fourth character, sorry, because we've had three deaths. <laughs> here we go then. Queen, Jasseline Mars, M Masseline Jars, ascends to the throne, a learned administrator. I've got to disagree there. She learned to administrate, but she's definitely not a learned administrator. Okay, then. Um, this is the best situation to be in. 16 years of age, and we've got, technically, a stewardship character with some good learning capabilities. I'm a big fan of this. Right, immediately, we'll go into wealth focus and we'll start sticking everything into architect loot not lose stress because you are shy so we're gonna have to probably rely on the f the the hunt for so we'll have a feast just to get our vassals happy we've only got really one vassal um who do you want to oh i can't believe he's still alive i think let's not vote for anybody yet no we've got to vote for somebody but let's not vote for for steve we don't want to be in a position where he is gonna be happy to murder us and take control of the realm anybody else is fine um her there you go. Her. She's fine. She's beautiful. She's intricate web weaver. She's actually probably the best one to vote for anyway. Um, that way if Steve kills us, she takes the thing. So Steve stands to gain nothing. And hopefully they'll have a kid. They'll have that intelligent kid. I think this is the start of something really, really, really good. I hope. And we're going to... Oh, we can imprison him. Because we know he's a murderer. Do Is, is that the case? Do we, we know his secret? I don't know how you find out known secrets about certain characters, to be honest. Um, why are we allowed to? Oh, attempted to murder me. Oh, he tried to kill her as well? Will not succeed. Let's just clap his cheeks. I'm gonna I'm gonna clap you so hard, brother, you're gonna go back to Jerusalem. Right, here we go. Um let's just raise him. Get him over there. Rally the troops. He's got three hundred men. He's got seven hundred men. This is this is done. This is over, Steve. She won that. Wow. Did we get anything? I assume not. Uh oh we we did. We got gold for that. <laughs> Ah, what? Okay. And they can't siege Venice. So we can just sit in the captain and now win. They're just going to lose troops to attrition. Done. Okay. Um, the carps. They're building a, a pond for the carps. Uh, sure. Okay. That one has a chance of giving us two, uh, 100 lifestyle experience. There we go. Fantastic. You make a great deal. And our poor old... Our poor old uncle. The murdering uncle. Killed our previous character. Or killed our current character's dad. And tried to kill us. Uh, just soon after our grandfather died. Tried to divide this dynasty. And he has failed. We've brought him to justice. And now I'm going to do the only thing anybody could do. 
not get Kinslayer. I'm going to revoke his title. That's what I meant to say. Give me that. Be good to get this back into the uh, back back into the main branch. A few more taxes for us, and then um, put him in the dungeon. Put him in the dungeon. That you can't lower. If that lowers family opinion for this guy murdering two of our family members, there's something a little bit gone awry about that. We are his family. I get to decide whether or not I'm outraged. Um, oh, we can't uh, can increase control. Are you sure about that? There we go. Oh, I guess it just took a second to update. I'm gonna start romancing our husband just to just to get him under wraps. Um, 35 stress critical because she's shy. Well, I mean it wasn't critical for us for a start, but a shy character is gonna have this problem as well. No, she can blackmail freely. Oh, there we go. A long bloody last. Um, right. Okay. So you just stick around in the Byzantine. This guy's so good. I'm gonna miss this guy so much. Stefanos when he dies. My god, he's been family friend for, for years. I feel like I, I owe him. Let's send him some gold just so he's not inclined to leave. Let's turn her into the greatest hunter we've ever seen. Also, chance of getting some gold. More importantly, she loses stress. And feasts are basically pointless now. So we'll just stick to only... I, th I think only doing hunts with her and try and gain, like, whatever the highest level of, of the hunting trait is. I don't actually know. Um, um, pleasantries. Oh, it's my brother. Prince Eggboy. Classic friggin' Eggboy, huh? Oh, stinky. Get out of here, Egg. Uh, I'm not going anywhere close to that man. No, she was talking about. She wasn't talking about Egg Boy there. Um, must warn Gandolfo. What am, I, what am I doing without Gandolfo? Soft breed carries my ear of carries the voices of Rubard and Falco to my ear. Two courtiers are talking to each other. They're discussing relates to Gandolfo. Um, we can only get a bit closer. Must know what they're hiding, whatever the cost. I can torture them. Gain some dread. Yes. He's a non-believer. Is there any downside to that? Surely getting dread is only a good thing. Uncle Steve Job died in the dungeon. Do we? That doesn't count as... Yeah, I was going to say. Just thought I'd double check. That doesn't count as uh, as anything relevant. Um, should marry you off? There you go. You can have a nice intelligent man. Yes. Finally, we can do this without constantly stressing them out. 90 gold. 90 gold to go now. Oh, this is big. We, this this is going to be the character. If anybody's going to upgrade the Metropolis, it's Queen Massalin Jars. I am, I'm, I'm, I'm set. This is great. We're going to leave it there for today because she is. We've got it in the bag with her. Essentially, she's going to be the one to to win this campaign for us. We're going to have a city of wonders, and the whole world will bow to Venice. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this bit of a weird series. We'll go back to something a bit more traditional next time. We'll probably try and do the uh, Africa achievement again probably after this one, uh, just because now apparently it is confirmed working. So thank you in the meantime to our coffee supporters with regards to the coffee support please go and check out the latest coffee post i have put up it, I've, I've done a very brief very straightforward outline that gives very solid easy to follow bullet points on what's going on go and check that out long story short we're moving back to patreon because they've resolved a lot of the issues like the inclusive tax pricing uh they've resolved the inability for me to get paid in my local currency so we no, no longer need to do the double conversions basically everything's a lot more streamlined coffee is still an option for those of you who hate patreon because i know it's, it's quite a divisive platform because of some policies i know nothing about it personally um but i know that is uh that is something so i'll leave coffee open anyway thank you to cmac the monk jt 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 slipping Nips, holy reapers Ellaby, the dust of time small snack daedric die katana potarted i am sagatair ben henshaw soul and breen king snitch gaming Salentally, and paul demon boy and everybody else at the executive producer tiers on coffee for making the channel possible in the first place a big thank you to you guys and a thank you as well to valo consulus fiddle Piddle Diddle Riddle, Davidovich, Emerald Bean, Dave TLV, Ai Duma, Uve, Wave, Wave, Way, Zafio, Hallin, Jonah, Batman's Max, El Zilcho, Jesus, Nox Immortalis, the, the Gentleman, Ghostronaut, Tom Padge, Moondoggy, Marcel, Extra Smooth, and everyone else at Coffee as well for making the channel possible in the first place. See you all tomorrow for a true proper metropolis.